going to be in the finals? Well, Houston Rockets are one win away from advancing. Golden State down now three games to two. And you look at the, uh, the bench numbers, five players off the Golden State bench accounting for four points on two of eight shooting. And not to the free throw line, but uh, Gerald Green, Eric Gordon, especially Gordon, huge off that Houston bench. Gerald and, Green was good yeah. today, too. He yeah, good. I know, he had a couple of good call, timely threes in there, but the... Uh, but, Ernie, you got the word. That's not going to catch up with them, but we end up on the game, the next two games. The um, uh, Sean Livingston with uh, his postgame comments. Did they defend you all well, or was there execution errors in that last couple of possessions? Um, I would say execution. It's always execution, you know? Um, this type of atmosphere, you know, they're, they're playing as hard as they can, and uh, they're getting into us, but, you know, it's just about who, who wants it more, and really, you know, again, playing with that force. And uh, I thought we, put, we did that at times tonight, but, you know, down the stretch, uh, just didn't execute the way we probably wanted to. You see more movement tonight offensively on your part? Definitely, definitely. I think we, <clears throat> I think the coaching staff saw some things that they liked offensively in the half court, so um, we got another game to try to expose it. Yeah, the ball over that we fouled late in the game. I think that was the difference. You know, they made foul shots into the game. And, uh, you know, but uh, our defense has been pretty good the last three games. And uh, but we got to turn that into a W. We got uh, we're facing elimination at home, so looking forward to playing. Kevin, Chris Hanks, ESPN. Kevin, you we've been one field goal over the last two fourth quarters. It seemed like they were going to you in the post a lot. Do you feel like you need to mix it up a little bit? Oh yeah, they switching a lot when I get in the post now. Um, uh, they not they I, I could feel them. Uh, bringing a guy over. Uh, so I just got to make the right play. Uh, but yeah, probably mix it up a bit, see where I can get different catches and touches because they kind of figuring stuff out for us. So, uh, you know, I just got to you know, be excited for the next game and go out there and play hard as we can. Your last possession offensively. Oh, and step through to Draymond? Um, they're just trying to free up Steph to get him a downhill. There's only seven seconds left and they had a foul to give. I thought he made a good play throwing a Draymond because he was in a three-on-two situation, but they just mishandled it. Um, can't let it get to that point, though. But I thought he played a good game, not good enough. But we'll be better Saturday. Did you guys rush it on the fourth quarter? It seemed like a few times you were. We definitely rushed to start the game, including myself. I was not composed, but I, I figured it out. Like I said, I saw some encouraging things tonight. If we play with that same force, I don't see why we can't win two games what in a row. What change? I mean, you obviously you and Steph both. What did you think of what you heard from Clay uh, from Clay Thompson right there in Kenny? Well, he, uh, talking like a champion, a guy who's been in this moment before. He's not panicking. I love Shaq's saying of when the generals general, and panic troops troops don't panic, and, and Clay is one of the generals he, along with the coaching staff, so he doesn't look panic. There were some encouraging things, but there also were some things that the Rockets would say, "Well, we know we're going to get this as well." Um, overall composure, experience, and ball movement are the three things they should be better than the Rockets, and they are not right now. Well, as far as being a leader, that didn't work out good for Custer. Uh, but uh, Oh, a little history well, lesson. Little history yes, lesson. it did. The yeah, people who were battling lesson. Custer, it, there was a general on that side, too. <laughs> that's, what <I'm> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The Rockets got a general, too. Um, to me, that was an ugly basketball game. Ugly. Yeah, but so... Turnovers, can the Rockets go on the road and play the same way? They played two fantastic games in a row. I just, they got to weather the storm early because you know the uh, Oracle Arena, the loudest arena we got. They got tremendous fans. They're going to come out like gangbusters. And the Rockets, to me, I want to see how they weather that storm because you can't worry about game seven. You have to look at game six. But I just want to see what kind of intensity they're going to come out with uh, on the road. You know, I asked a question earlier. Do you think it's concerning Durant 29, Clay 23, Steph 22, and they lost the game when the Rockets' two stars didn't really have great games? And, you know, listen to their, their, their commentary. 
one, they're not panicking because, you know, they're going to say we need to take care of the ball. We need to make some more shots. I believe that they will step up in game six at their house, and I believe it will be a game seven. The uh, the Rockets won at 98-94. James Harden, uh, 19 points, 5 of 21, 0 for 11 from deep. In fact, he's missed his last 20 three-pointers. <laughs> I got him, baby. Man up. Shaq got a man up. I got him. Be up with some icy hot so he can be ready on Saturday. We will have an update on Chris Paul from Kristen Ledlow when we come back.